Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I did this almost a video like this years ago, and somebody wanted to know how to do it in Corel 19. It would be actually the same, and so this is my laser bit, but my tiles are huge, they're 20 by 20. They're individual tiles. You need to just select them all, go up to object and combine them. Then I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page, and then I'm gonna take this bird eagle and put it in the center of the page. And that's gonna be my tile. But I don't really have to put him in there because I can power clip him in there. So I'm gonna to go to effects, power clip, place inside frame, and it's gonna put it pretty much in the center. That's all you have to do. Then just select it all and go to object and break power clip apart. Now you've got individual tile so let's move this out of the way. And if this is a laser bed, which is my laser bed, it's quite large, you're only gonna get one tile on there. You can maybe get two. Um, well, you, on this case, you can only get one, but if they were a 20 inch tile and you had a 40 inch bed. So you could run that tile, then run this tile, run this tile. The good thing about it, this tile and this tile, you don't have to run. Uh, to make the picture. And then that would make a picture, just for instance, let's get back here. That would be a set of tiles that is 84 inches big. There's no way you could ever get that into your laser, 84 by 61. I'm not ever saying you're going to use that, but you could do a four inch tile. And it's just a way to do it. Even if you didn't need a power clip, it just how to lay out your tile and see what it would look like. You know, you might not want it to crack on the bird's eye, or if it's a picture of a kid, you might not want it there. So you can kind of lay that out. But anyway, so that's the same almost in any Corel draw, but that's how you would do it in 19 or below. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.